What's going on everybody? Greg here with Technically Speaking again, back this week talking about wireless mesh networking system. Out of all the systems that we've tested, there are basically two that have kind of continued to stay at the top of the stack, and that is Google Wi-Fi and Amplify HD. So this week we're gonna be putting them both head to head to see which one comes out on top, which one has the best features, which one's worth your money? So let's get into it. Both systems are mesh networking systems, which means they're designed to fix poor coverage with wireless in your home. They also both support 802.11a, b, g, n, and a, c, which means pretty much anything that has wireless, either one of these systems are gonna support. They both support 2.4 and 5 gigahertz frequencies, as well as simultaneous dual band Wi-Fi, which means you don't have to choose which wireless network you join. These systems are intelligent enough to direct your device to whichever router is the closest. Both awesome features and frankly table stakes at this point. If you're trying to look at a router or a mesh networking system that doesn't have these types of features, you really should look elsewhere. Both mesh systems are also controlled via a smartphone application. On Google Wi-Fi, that's the only option you have is the Google Wi-Fi app that you can get on either iOS or Android. And the entire system is both set up and managed through there. Uh, Feature-wise, both applications have a very similar feature set. Google's is a lot more simple though. Um, the idea that Google has for their product is that it's designed for people that are really not that interested in managing a wireless solution. So very cleverly, again, they have decided to hide some very, very complex configuration behind some very, very simple button presses. So things like prioritizing individual devices or controlling groups of devices, turning off the internet to them or setting up guest Wi-Fi, all of those are very, very simple to configure on the Google Wi-Fi app. On the Amplify HD side, uh, not only can you configure the entire system via the included Amplify HD application, but you can also log directly into them via a web browser, something you can't do with Google Wi-Fi, and configure the system that way. Once you get into the app itself, there are actually a few more features not present on Google Wi-Fi. That's because Amplify HD is kind of geared towards people that are a little more technical. So Amplify includes things like VPN pass-through. Now, because of the added flexibility in the added tools, I have to give the win to Amplify HD. So what are the differences then? Starting with hardware, the Amplify HD has both a higher clock speed and more onboard storage whereas the Google Wi-Fi boasts significantly more RAM. Now, the RAM and the CPU speed really for the most part doesn't matter, but the amount of onboard storage might. Uh, the reason this is important is because onboard storage really determines how much extra software can be loaded on there. And in this case, the Amplify HD has significantly more room compared to the Google Wi-Fi for additional features, software updates, security fixes, that sort of thing. So in this case, I have to give the win to the Amplify system. As far as wireless speeds go, the Google Wi-Fi system is an AC1300 system, meaning that it has a maximum theoretical output of 1.2 gigabits per second compared to the Amplify system, which is an AC1750, meaning that it has a maximum theoretical throughput of 1.75 gigabits per second. Now, keep in mind that these are maximum theoretical throughputs, uh, meaning real world is always gonna be different. The real world scenarios that I've tested in, both systems are very, very similar. They come within about you know one or 2% of each other. But given the fact that the Amplify system has a higher potential for throughput, I again have to give the win to the Amplify system. Now coverage is significantly more important for most people. Coverage basically tells you how much of your home in particular Wi-Fi system is gonna cover. Google Wi-Fi will cover about 4,500 square feet, whereas the Amplify system covers just an absolutely insane 20,000 square feet, making the Amplify an absolute clear winner in this case. Now, I haven't ever been able to test that 20,000 square feet claim, as I mentioned in the reviews that I will post up here above. Um, however, it more than covers my house and the yard and halfway down the street as well, and the Google Wi-Fi doesn't even come close to that. Physical connectivity is where things get a little more interesting. Now, the Amplify system has on its main router and only its main router, four one gigabit ethernet ports and a single one gigabit WAN port, which would connect onto the internet. It also has a USB type A connector on the back and is powered via USB type C. Now, the additional satellite points on the Amplify system have no connectivity whatsoever. Compare that to the Google Wi-Fi system. 
Each individual puck in the Google Wi-Fi system is identical, meaning it doesn't really matter which one you set up first. However, physically they both are USB Type-C powered and they both feature one gigabit ethernet ports, but there's two of them on each puck, a total of six ports, right? So the very first Google Wi-Fi puck that you set up becomes the main router for the entire system. And in that case, one of the ports is dedicated towards WAN connectivity, meaning that's the one that goes off to the internet. The other port is a one gigabit LAN connection. Now in each of the satellite Wi-Fi pucks that you set up for the Google system, the two onboard gigabit ports are all turned into LAN connectivity, meaning if you connect both additional satellite systems plus the main router, you have a total of five gigabit ethernet ports compared to the four on the Amplify system. However, if you're the type of person that really cares about wiring up a device, it's probably because you care about speed. And in that case, the Amplify system really is the clear winner here. Why is that? When you connect a device via Ethernet to Google Wi-Fi, you still have to jump that wireless bridge to get back to the main router and then onto the Internet. That wireless bridge jump causes latency. That's what's going to slow down your connection a little bit. Compared to Amplify HD, where it has all the ports on the same box, it's just a short hop to go from the LAN port over to the WAN port and then out to the Internet. That's going to be much, much faster. So in this case, I'm going to have to give the win to Amplify HD yet again. Okay, last but not least is price. And this is usually the thing that helps make most people's decisions. Now, Google Wi-Fi you can pick up on the Google Store right now for $279. That is for a three-pack, again, that will cover 4,500 square feet. That's a pretty good deal. Amplify HD you can pick up from the Amplify Store, and that will cost you $350. And again, that is for the main router and the two satellite points. So, pure numbers alone, you gotta give it to Google Wi-Fi. It is a very, very capable system. Um, and it is significantly cheaper than the Amplify HD. So that's going to do it for me for this week. Thank you all for stopping by to check out the video. It means a lot to us. If you would click on subscribe down there, don't forget to like. And if you like what we're doing, leave some comments, hit the thumbs up, share this with a friend. Let us know uh, what other type of content you would like to see. Don't forget to check out our live show that we host every Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time, where we talk about the week's happenings in tech. And Scott and I usually argue about something or another. So that's it. I'll see you all next time.